So, uh, how are you? I'm, I'm okay. Really? Sure, I mean, yeah, do I wish me and Rachel living together would have worked out? Of course. It's not like uh, it's a divorce. Well, actually, it is. No, it, it's it, not a divorce. It is not a divorce! <laughs> Anyway, I think Rachel and I need to, you know, get on with our lives. Maybe, maybe start seeing other people. Wow, really? Yeah, sure, why not? In fact, if you know anyone, that'd be good for me. Sure, I know lots of girls. Yeah, any names come to mind? Ooh, names. <laughs> with Rachel again. I mean, apart from the great food. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. It's just, it's just weird what's happening with her and Ross. You know, yesterday, he asked me to fix him up with somebody. Oh my God, Rachel asked me if I knew anyone for her, too. Why are they doing this? I just wish they'd realize they should be together. Yes, and they should name one of their kids Joey. <laughs> hey, well, I may not have kids. Someone's got to carry on the family name. Oh, I know what we can do. We could set Ross and Rachel up on horrible dates so that they'll realize how good they are together. Ooh, that's a great plan. Yeah. You know what the best part of it is? I get to do my plan laugh. <laughs> Hey, I'm so excited. I just set Rachel up with the worst guy tonight. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Wait till you hear who I got for Ross. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's this really boring woman. She's a teacher. A teacher? Yeah, yeah. She's really into history and foreign movies. Oh, oh. and she loves puzzles. Huh? <laughs> Come on, who loves puzzles? Well, Ross does. <laughs> what, you, you, you're ruining the plan. How do you even know a woman like that? What, what, I'm not allowed to know smart women? Joey. I met her at the library, I went in to pee. <laughs> so now what do we do? Well, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just call her and tell her the date's canceled and find him somebody else. Yeah. What if we don't find him somebody else? We'll just tell her the date's off, but we don't tell Ross, and he goes to the restaurant and gets stood up. Ooh, ooh, I hear that's bad. <laughs> I, I just have to say this. You're really beautiful. Oh, well, that's that's very sweet. Thank you. <laughs> I'm kind of funny looking. <laughs> what? Look, I mean, come on. You're way out of my league. Everybody in here knows it. That that guy over there is probably saying, "Ooh, I share with him. He must be rich." <laughs> well, I'm not. <laughs> So what do you think you want to order? I'm real excited about that chicken. I'm not funny either. <laughs> well, hey, now, wait a minute. Phoebe told me that, uh, that you owned your own restaurant. That's impressive. I lost it huh. to drugs. <laughs> I silk screen t-shirts now. Really? What's that like? It's really fulfilling doing something you hate for no money. <laughs> That's right. I have no money. I'm not funny. I live in a studio apartment. And I'm pretty sure I'm infertile. Excuse me, um, is there a woman waiting at the bar? Um, someone average height, dark hair, or perhaps doing a puzzle? Uh, there's a drunk Chinese guy. Well, if I'm still here in an hour, buy him a drink on me. Um, can I get you another glass of wine? Uh, I, I don't know if I should. I don't want to be drunk when I go home alone. You got stood up, huh? Eh, it's no big deal. It's just a blind date. Are you worried your day came, saw you, and left? No. Well, um, 
Look, I think I know the answer to this question, but would you like to make love to me? Really, really not. That's just as well. Doesn't work anyway. 